god, that looks insane. Wow, that looks mad. Oh, hi. You're probably thinking, why am I pouring coffee into a cup very slowly and, well, I'll tell you why right now. I am addicted to coffee, fact. And well, I need to make sure my coffees are on point, so I use a cafetiere. Also grind my own beans. And this nicely fills out the beans for me, so make sure that we have nothing ground at all in there. And well, the last thing we need is probably, probably a bit of milk. Oh, okay, okay, I'm awake now, I'm okay. Let's start this video. Hello guys, how are you all doing and welcome back to another video. Today, you join me at my setup here. It's not going to be a vlog, it's basically any creator out there or anyone thinking about creating YouTube videos, this is a must watch because I've seen so many creators starting up like creating videos and that, missing this vital, vital point. And well, it ruins everything if you miss it. So today guys, I'm going to be talking to you about sound. It does not matter if you have absolutely amazing HD stable footage. If your sound's bad, then honestly, you've just wasted your time filming it because, well, you need good sound. The thing is, you can definitely see as a viewer the difference between sound and no sound. By adding in your own sound effects and by basically using something from scratch and recreating the sound yourself, add so much more depth into your video that it really kind of draws the viewer in and that is what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So after I've spoken to you a little bit about what the sound is and how important it is in your videos, I'm going to take the drone out because that is the easiest way to demonstrate to you how sound works well. So I'm going to take the drone out, get a few cinematic shots outside and also get some with my camera here of probably making a coffee and I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is between using sound effects and no sound because, well, there's no fine line, it's a big one. Now, if we look at sound as a whole, the very, very top triangle is voiceover. The thing with voiceover is, well, that should be right at the top. That is what you're trying to get mainly across to your viewer. If you have something, some voice in the background of your video, like I do in a couple of my own short films, that is the main message that you are trying to get across to your viewer. So that's top of the triangle, like top priority. So then we move down to music. Music is the second block down and well, music just suddenly lays below the voiceover just to kind of guide your video and basically just help it flow because without the music, then it would have absolutely no flow to the video. But the foundation, like the first building block, as you could say, of this all is sound design. This is the big biggie and without this, Anyone watching your video can tell instantly something is missing and, well, sound design will be that. By sound design, I mean basically as a whole with like the sound effects. So I don't know if you've seen me use them before, all the whoosh effects, like gun effects, like slap effects. And well, in a cinematic sequence, just anything that like you can even record it yourself. So if I was making a coffee, I would search for sound effects such as pouring water, a coffee machine noise, you know what I mean. And obviously as well with the drone, you'd want wind noises, maybe even a helicopter noise, just to kind of like personify what the drone could actually be. Make people think that you're in a helicopter and an aeroplane and just, just little things like that. Now overall sound is all about layering. Just as like video, you layer on top of layer on top of layer, sound is exactly the same. If you haven't already downloaded it, Adobe do an absolutely amazing package called Adobe, called Adobe Audition and basically you can edit all your sound in there and then just chuck it into Premiere. And that's for if you're an Adobe user such as me. Personally, I've never used Final Cut Pro in my life so I'm not against it and also I don't really use it myself. However, I'm a very strong user of Adobe, so that works well for me, but it's all about what you're comfortable with as a creator. Also, when you're editing, you want some nice, crisp, clear speakers, which, as you can tell from a couple of videos ago, 
I now just have. Whether it's speakers or headphones, it does not matter. As long as they're top quality, you're gonna get some top sound because, well, you wanna hear what you're doing. And well, of course, when it comes down to headphones, don't use Apple's plug-in earphones. Really, really aren't good for this kind of thing. You want to be able to hear the bass just like I can through these speakers. Therefore, use something like Beats, any Sony earphones, really. Something that can be on your ears and you can experience like the surround sound through that because, not gonna lie, Apple earphones really, really aren't the one. Anyway, though, guys, let's get packed up right now and, well, go and head off and get some B-roll for ourselves, and then we'll have a look at Ed's in it. Oh. Guys, I really do pick some of the very best days to come out and fly the drone. Today is just amazing, as you'll see in just a second. However, I've had a quick thought on the way down here. Basically, the SD card for my drone is minuscule. It's about the size of a tooth. I know Peter McKinnon said that if security was coming up to him, if he was filming somewhere where he shouldn't be, he'd swallow it. Then he'd still have the footage. That's what Ryan Taylor and Ali Law should have done. Because not gonna lie, that's not gonna affect your body majorly. Swallowing one of these is something I've always wanted to do, as weird as that sounds, just so I can tell myself that I've swallowed like 20 gig of video files. And uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the video, let's fly. <laughs> 